I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. <laughs> and we are 27 Dresses. <laughs> I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we're 27 Travels. And we are at Sydney World Pride. Hello! Hi everybody! <laughs> so this is going to be a little like World Pride vlog because we are actually in Sydney, Australia for World Pride this year. Yes, and today is Mardi Gras, which is like their big Pride celebration and the first one kind of that we're going to since we've been here. So we're really excited. We just got all dressed up in our hotel room, as you can tell, glittered. And now we are walking to basically, hopefully you can hear us, pick up these like passes that we need to go like watch the parade because we actually got approved for like media passes. So we'll be able to watch from like a special designated yeah, area. Yeah, like a media area. So yeah. we'll have a little bit of like space to be able to see the whole parade happen. So we're really excited about it because obviously I think you might know this, but we have never actually gone to a pride somewhere other than in New York. Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> so it's like our first international pride and we're really excited about that. Progress shark. Epic. We are walking right now and we're actually seeing some of the floats before, before they, they like like hit the parade. the parade yeah exactly and this is a way shorter parade route than the route that they have in new york it takes like the whole entire day but this seems more fun because of that too so yeah i feel like this, parade, we'll this parade starts at like six and i don't think goes super late either yeah. so. and it's nighttime so you're not like baking in the sun the whole entire time which is really nice because we know what it's like I'm to bake sweating. in the sun and we're already sweating <laughs> but I'll show you the, the little floats lined up. Okay, so you can see here's some like floats lined up and there's even more like that way. It's hard to see, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so we are here with Ravi and Ravi's content is he likes to interview people, but he never gets interviewed. So Ravi, we're gonna interview you. The theme of Pride this year is to gather, to dream and to amplify. And gathering the world at the first Pride, the first World Pride in the Southern Hemisphere. Wow, it really is the first one. Yeah. The, that's really cool. To dream. We all dream of being seen, visible, and included, and to amplify. To amplify the non-white gay voice. To amplify the indigenous community. To amplify the trans community, the non-binary community. To amplify all of our voices. The lesbian community. I mean, it's, it's about all of us. Love it, yeah. So it's the next day now and Mardi Gras was yesterday and we literally had so much fun at the Mardi Gras parade yesterday. Yeah, it was a blast. It was like the perfect parade. It was so nice that we weren't like super hot because it was at night and also I feel like Shanna said this to me but it's a, it was a really good mix of like brands and like local community organizations so that was really cool like seeing people march and stuff. Yeah I think like what we loved is like the first people that march is this group called the First Nations which is like Australia's like indigenous community and we absolutely loved that like I love seeing like them recognize the indigenous community of the area that we're in and like that they should have marched first so I absolutely love that and there was also just like really local like other organizations that, that were marching I feel like we we saw almost the whole parade and we only saw like three like really big brands so I kind of really yeah. liked that it kind of felt like it was like what pride really should be which is like um like a protest but also like a celebration of all the local communities who like helped you get to where we are today. Yeah, exactly. It was awesome and we really loved it and we're so glad that we came here for this. Um, it's just, it was amazing. And also like this week, we have tons of other like pride celebrations because obviously World Pride encompasses like a few weeks here. So, so obviously Mardi Gras was kind of like the start of it, I feel like. And then we have a bunch of other events this week and all accumulating into like the World Pride March, which we will go to like on our last day here. Yeah, so we're really excited. So far World Pride here has been amazing. And honestly, we were in World Pride in New York in 2019 and so far I think since 
Sydney is doing it better. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I just think the community feels like more excited about it. Yeah. And I feel like they did a lot of things like around the whole entire city, like in businesses and like on the streets to really make you feel like, oh my God, I'm here for a world pride. Yeah. It's really cool. We're actually going to something super cool tonight. It's another pride event. Like I said, we're going to take you to all of our different like pride events and like things that we're going to that are like pride related and world pride related. We're going to this um, event called Miss First Nation, which like I just mentioned, First Nation is like the community of indigenous people um, of this area. And they're doing like, um, I feel like it's like a drag competition pageant. pageant. Yeah. But we're not entirely sure because we haven't been there yet. But that's what it seems like from the ticket. And we're going with Ravi. And it should be super fun. We're really excited. Yeah. Um, obviously, keep you posted. Ravi yeah. got us the ticket. So I would say that like our knowledge on what we're going to is at like a minimal. 50%. We're at minimal knowledge. But like by the time we go, we will have full knowledge on it. And we're really excited just to see it and like do something cool like that. literally completely decked out for pride like everywhere we go as you can see there are rainbows everywhere we're so impressed because we were obviously in world pride like when it was in new york we went to world pride in 2019 exactly we went to world pride in 2019 when it was in new york and we're just actually so impressed because like there's so many rainbows around the city way more than we remember being in new york when it happened last time yeah like so this is already the second one like rainbow crosswalky kind of thing that we've seen and also it says that this park is like really famous um for like australia's lgbtq rights because a lot of people would come to this park um, like when they were trying to pass same-sex marriage in Australia. We are at Bondi Beach and there are these amazing pride murals like literally right on the beach. Yeah. So cool. So cool. There's so much amazing art all around the city right now. Our new hotel that we're staying at is in this area called Bangaroo, and there is this amazing rainbow crosswalk, like right um, by the harbor. Maybe, well, I don't know if we're by the harbor, but we're by some body of yeah, water. Yeah, we're by the water. <laughs> but it's actually incredible, and every area we've stayed in has been so different, but so cool. And also, like, they really went all out for Pride. I'm they not gonna really lie. did. Like, for World Pride, they went all out. Like, every place everywhere has flags and, like, I don't know, stuff for Pride, and they painted everywhere. Like, this is like a huge rainbow crosswalk. Huge. It's crazy. Yeah. So, we're walking it now um, before we go back to our hotel, and we're so excited that we're staying in this area because it's really, really nice over here. <laughs> World Pride March over the Harbor Bridge and it started really early. It's like 7 a.m. right now. <laughs> it's actually at the front, but it's nice because it's basically a sunrise Pride March, which we've never done before. But we're so all dressed up. We're see. with Callum. He's wearing Gabby's shirt from the other Pride. And Ravi, of oh, course. <laughs> Today we gather here as countries from all continents. Make this march a march for those who cannot. Make it our task to march for them. Hi, Matt! Hi! How are ya? I love this camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool, and the sun is finally out, which feels so good, because I was a little cold before, but... Yeah, I think this is definitely one of the coolest uh, Pride marches we've ever done. Yeah. I mean, just marching over the Sydney Harbor Bridge and at sunrise. Yeah, also with the, everyone at it, World Pride. Yeah, it's so epic. And also the trains actually go over this bridge. So like, we're marching as the trains are going by. So people are going on their morning commute and we're like, hi! This is so cool. <laughs> Okay, so we finished the Pride March, um, yeah. as you can tell by our, With our little wrists. So 
and we just had the absolute best time at Sydney World Pride this yeah, year. It, it's crazy that we did a whole entire march this morning and it's only like 11 a.m. right now, but it was just incredible. Walking over the bridge was just like the views were insane and it just felt so cool to do like a morning march like that. We've never done something like that before. Also in general, I just feel like Sydney really went all out for World Pride. So much like the whole city was rainbow. There were so many amazing events and programming like the entire like two weeks that we were here. It was just incredible. Yeah, it was like absolutely insane. Like one of the best prides we've ever been to. They just like every street was rainbow. There were so many different events and shows and theater, like every, anything you can imagine for Pride. It was awesome. So we had the absolute best time and we had to document it obviously in our YouTube video. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Bye.